Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1731, Bartolomeo di Francesco Cristofori, the Italian inventor of the piano, died at 75 years old. In 1736, the last king of Poland, Stanislaus, abdicates the throne. In 1756, Austrian composer and mad genius Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart is born today. In 1785, the University of Georgia is founded. It is the first public university in the United States. In 1823, the fifth president of the United States, James Monroe, appoints the first U.S. ambassadors to South America. In 1825, the U.S. Congress approves what is referred to as Indian Territory in what is present-day Oklahoma, allowing for forced relocation of the five eastern Indian tribes on the Trail of Tears. In 1832, author Lewis Carroll, most famous for writing Alice in Wonderland, is born in Darsbury, Cheshire, England. In 1834, Dmitri Mendeleev is born. He created a little thing called the periodic table. In 1851, conservationist John James Audubon who lent his name to the Audubon Society, passes away. In 1864, the U.S. Civil War's Battle of Fair Garden occurred between the armies of Tennessee and Ohio. In 1870, Kappa Alpha Theta, the first Greek letter fraternity for women, is founded at DePaul University. In 1880, Thomas Edison receives a U.S. patent for the electric incandescent light bulb. In 1885, Jerome Kern, an American composer best known for his musical comedies, was born. In 1888, the National Geographic Society is founded in Washington, D.C. In 1894, the first college basketball game is played. The University of Chicago beats Chicago YMCA 19-11. 1901, Italian composer Giuseppe Verde dies best known for his operas including Rigoletto and La Traviata. In 1905, actor Howard McNear is born. He is best remembered as Floyd the Barber on The Annie Griffith Show. In 1908, Jupiter's satellite Pesophy is discovered. In 1910, Thomas Crapper, the British plumber who invented the modern flush toilet, dies. I'm not sure that any other inventor has left such a legacy. In 1915, U.S. Marines occupy Haiti. In 1918, Tarzan of the Apes, the first Tarzan film, premieres at Broadway Theater in New York City. Yep, that was in 1918. In 1921, From Here to Eternity, and It's a Wonderful Life actress Donna Reed is born in Denison, Iowa. So was my dad. In 1924, Russian leader Vladimir Lenin is placed in a mausoleum in Red Square. It and he are still there. In 1926, the U.S. joins the World Court, which settles disputes between world nations. In 1927, the Harlem Globetrotters play their very first game. In 1941, Peruvian Ambassador Ricardo Rivera Schreiber warns the American ambassador of a rumored impending Japanese assault on Pearl Harbor. Apparently, no preventative action was taken, and Pearl Harbor was attacked on December 7th. In 1943, the first U.S. air attack on Germany. Both B-24 bombers and B-17 flying fortresses began their raid on the German port of Wilhelmshaven. In 1944, the Soviet Red Army ousted German and Finnish forces from Leningrad, St. Petersburg, concluding an 872-day siege. In 1945, Soviet troops fully liberate the Auschwitz concentration camp in Poland. Over 1.1 million were murdered here. In 1948, the first tape recorder ever sold was purchased on this day. In 1950, the second Emmy Awards is broadcast. Ed Wynn won in several categories. In 1951, nuclear testing at the Nevada test site begins with a one kiloton bomb dropped on Frenchman Flat. 125 more tests followed. In 1955, George Shaw from the University of Oregon is the first pick by the Baltimore Colts in the NFL Draft. In 1956, the New York Giants football team moved games from the Polo Grounds to Yankee Stadium. 
Also in 1956, Elvis releases Heartbreak Hotel, which goes on to be his first million-selling single. In 1961, NBC premieres the new Mitch Miller show, Sing Along with Mitch. In 1964, the Beatles release their Introducing the Beatles album in the United States. Also in 1964, Margaret Chase Smith, a senator from Maine, tries for the Republican presidential bid. She is also the first woman to have been elected to the U.S. House and the U.S. Senate. In 1965, the first ground-to-aircraft radio communication via satellite occurs. In 1966, a Wisconsin State Circuit Court rules that if the Braves leave Milwaukee, the MLB must commit to an expansion team for Wisconsin. In 1967, the United States, the United Kingdom, and the Soviet Union signed the Outer Space Treaty, limiting the use of outer space and the moon to peaceful purposes. Also in 1967, astronauts Gus Grissom, Edward Higgins White, and Roger Chaffee were killed in a fire during a test of their Apollo 1 spacecraft at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Also as well in 1967, the Beatles signed a nine-year worldwide contract with EMI Records. In 1970, the movie's rating system modifies M to PG. Also in 1970, Terry Bradshaw from Louisiana Tech is first pick in the NFL Draft by the Pittsburgh Steelers. In 1972, gospel singer Mahalia Jackson passes away at only 60 years old. In 1973, the Vietnam Peace Accords are signed in Paris, ending the Vietnam War and the U.S. Draft. In 1976, Laverne and Shirley, a spin-off from Happy Days, premieres on ABC TV. In 1977, President Carter pardons most Vietnam War draft evaders on this day. Also on this day, ABC TV broadcasts the Roots miniseries for the very first time. Also on this day, the Vatican reiterates that the Roman Catholic Church does not allow women to enter the priesthood. That was a busy day. In 1979, the 36th annual Golden Globes are broadcast. Midnight Express wins Best Drama Movie, and Heaven Can Wait wins Best Comedy. In 1982, Joseph and the Amazing Dreamcoat opens at Royale, New York City for 747 performances. In 1983, the first draft of the Seikan Tunnel in Japan, the longest tunnel in the world, is completed. It is over 33 miles long and, oh yeah, it is underwater. In 1984, the King of Pop, Michael Jackson, receives second degree burns to his scalp during the filming of a Pepsi commercial at the Shrine Auditorium in Los Angeles, California. Also on this day, John Lennon and Yoko Ono release their Milk and Honey album. In 1986, the 13th American Music Awards are broadcast. Whitney Houston, Huey Lewis, and Crystal Gale are big winners. In 1991, in Super Bowl 25 in Tampa, Florida, the New York Giants beat the Buffalo Bills 20-19. In 1992, the 19th American Music Awards is broadcast. CNC Music Factory and Michael Bolton are big winners. Also on this day, Mike Tyson goes on trial for the rape of Desiree Washington. He is found guilty. On this day as well, former President Bill Clinton and Jennifer Flowers accuse each other of lying about their supposed 12-year affair. Wow, he had a bad day on January 26th as well. In 1995, 5,000 mourners gather at the site of the Auschwitz Nazi concentration camp to commemorate the 50th anniversary of its liberation. In 1996, Germany observes International Holocaust Remembrance Day for the first time. In 1997, the 24th American Music Awards are broadcast. Tony Braxton and Alanis Morissette are big winners. In 2003, the first selections for the National Recording Registry are announced by the Library of Congress. Each year since, 25 historically important recordings are chosen for the registry. In 2004, Usher's Yeah! single is released featuring Lil Jon and Ludacris. It is Billboard's Song of the Year. In 2006, celebrations are held in Salzburg and around the world for the 250th anniversary of the birth of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. 
In 2007, the first time the Australian Open Tennis Tournament used the Hawkeye system for official line calls. Serena Williams beats Maria Sharapova 6-1, 6-2. In 2008, the 56th NHL All-Star Game is held at Phillips Arena in Atlanta, Georgia. The Eastern Conference beats the Western Conference 8-7. In 2009, author John Updike passes away, best known for his Rabbit series. Also in 2009, Bruce Springsteen releases his Working on a Dream album, his 16th studio album. In 2010, American writer J.D. Salinger, best known for The Catcher in the Rye, dies at age 91. In 2013, 245 people die in a fire at the Kiss nightclub in the city of Santa Maria, Rio Grande do Sul, Brazil. 630 more were injured. In 2017, Donald Trump issues an executive order banning travel to the U.S for seven mostly Muslim countries and suspending admission for refugees. In 2018, Swedish entrepreneur Ingvar Komprad, who founded the home furnishings retailer IKEA, dies at age 91. In 2019, the NFL's Pro Bowl is held at Camping World Stadium in Orlando, Florida. The AFC beats the NFC 26-7 just got to watch more of my channel. It's right there in front of you. Why not?